Hey there, this is Elizabeth, the teaching artist for the Timken Museum of Art with another art tutorial for you. In this video, we're going to be traveling to Peru to check out Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is nestled in the hills of the Andes, and we didn't even know it was there until 1911. The people who lived there were the Incas. They were a very powerful empire that ruled pre-Columbian South America in the 15th century. Now we're going to go to Peru and see for ourselves just how amazing Machu Picchu is. One of the many talents the Incas had were their beautiful hand-woven textiles that they created. All of their designs you see within these slides have spiritual meaning and purpose, and they reflect on the Inca culture as a whole. We are going to be inspired by the Incas to create our own symbolic design. But before we get started, I got to go through the art materials. You need two pieces of paper, pencil, ruler, and colored pencils. So to begin, I want you to take one of those sheets of paper and draw three boxes. Inside those boxes, I want you to start coming up with some designs. Now, the designs can be symbolic of something that matters to you, it can be symbolic of something that you do, or it could just be something that looks cool. For me, I'm creating a design that reflects on a tulip because it was my mom's favorite flower. I'm not worried about my drawing looking exactly like a tulip. It's more symbolic of a tulip and it's being inspired by some of those textile designs I saw in the earlier slides. Please don't worry about any kind of perfection. Use this as a tool to relax and have fun. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the final design. I'm going ahead and using my ruler because I'm going to create a band that my design fits inside of. And then around my band, I decided to create some of these stacked rectangles. Now, it's totally up to you what you decide to design. It can be very simple or it can be more ornate. It's totally up to you. I would suggest reviewing some of those designs again that were in the earlier part of the video for ideas. Please know that there is no exact way to do this. This is a very organic project where everybody's design is going to look different. Okay, next I have a cool trick to show you. You're going to tear out whichever one of those three designs you liked best and you're going to color the back of it with your pencil, covering it with graphite. Then you'll place it, flip it back over, and place it where you want it to go on your design and trace over it. After you trace over it once, you're going to flip it drawing side down onto your design and then you're going to shade back over the area you already shaded and what that's going to do is it's going to transfer the design onto the paper underneath. And then I flip the drawing back over again so it's drawing facing up, traced over it again so it transferred to the paper underneath and now I'm adding details. Then I decided, hey, you know what? I wanna have two of those flowers in the corners of my design too. So I just repeated the same steps I just took. And now I'm cleaning up some of the extra pencil lines. I'm gonna make the flowers on the two sides that I just drew a little bit more similar. So I added some details. And then I decided to add more details to those outer frames that I created around the whole of the design. I made the lines a little bit narrower in some areas, wider in other areas, and I did it all very symmetrically. Whatever I did on the top, I would do on the bottom. Whatever I did from the left, I'd do from the right. 
the whole picture is pretty symmetrical. Now what you see me doing is coming back in with the ruler to darken my lines. This just cleans everything up. Whatever you do, just make sure that you fill the entire paper and you have some repetition. As long as you have those two things going, your design will be fantastic. Once you feel good about your design and you fill the entire page, then you get to add the color. Add any color you want, any combination you want. Thank you so much for joining me today to take the time to be creative. If you could, please share with us a picture of what you've made. We'd love to see it.